We don't want to keep teams separate when there's a legal purchase of firms. When they're actually legally together, we want to see teams be together. And so typically we'll plan up until that point, up until the point of announcement to that team, because the way you announce and communicate to the team is done in a very particular order, just like anything else in a merger. And so we'll want to be involved in a retreat. So often we'll we'll pull together all teams right just right after the announcement's been made. We want to pull them into an on-site physical retreat as soon after the announcement to that team as possible. Because then you got them in the same room. They're not focused on client work. They can deal with sometimes the angst of being surprised by the fact that they're their owners, their partners, the people that were their leaders are, are sometimes gone now because they they exited in a merger or they've got a new boss. It's just their perception. And so you got to get them in a room and really start questioning and taking them through exercises so they can get out a lot of the thought and the ways that it feels to be surprised with just new owners, new leaders, a new way to do things.